Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart launch the game. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now this has worked for me. So you can try this, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. You can just make a right click on the game exe file, select properties and go to the second tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game and then check. If that does not work, open this folder and open binaries win64 and then make a right click on this exe file, select properties and then go to the second tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK, make a double click and try launching the game from here. If that does not work, again make a right click, then go to properties and this time put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK and then make a double click, launch the game from here. If that does not work, again go to properties and this time select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK and then make a double click, launch the game. If that does not work, put a check on disable full screen optimizations, hit apply, click on OK and then make a double click, launch the game. You can do the same thing with the first exe file, make a right click, select properties and then you can put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, try Windows 7, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK and then make a double click, launch the game. But for me, launching the game as an administrator from this folder has worked. So you can try this. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still the game is not launching. In that case, you can uncheck all these boxes and then hit apply, click on OK. Open this folder, binaries, Win64 and do the same thing with this exe file. So when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, then you can uncheck these boxes and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to now allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security. If you have Windows 11, if you have Windows 10, you will have an option update in security and then click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the end, you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program files x86 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder open the common folder and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file select open Again, click on add and allowed app, browse all apps and this time open this folder, binaries, win64. Select this exe file, click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings, allow another app, click on browse. Again, go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select this exe file, click on open and then click on add. In my case, the game is already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse and then open this folder, binaries, win64. Select this exe file, click on open, click on add. Now, once the game is added, in my case, both, both the exe file are added. Once the game is added, now you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for Nvidia. So go to NVIDIA website and then for product type for me it's GeForce. So select GeForce. Now select your series. Make sure that you select the right series as per your graphic card. For me it's 30 series. Now select your graphic card over here. Make sure that you select your graphic card. Now if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. And then select Game Ready Driver over here. And then click on Search. And then click on Download and again click on download on this page and once the download is 100% complete you can run this file and now once you run this file you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a, put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once this is inst once the installation is complete restart your computer and then check 
Now the next step is to delete the config file. Now to delete the config file, open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive. Now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data on the top, click on view, select show, and then put it up on hidden items. You should be able to see app data. Open app data, open the local folder, open this folder, and then open save folder. Open here, you can see config folder. Make a right click and then click on delete. Now, once you delete the config file, you will lose all the settings, the settings uh, which you have saved in your game. So delete the config file and then launch the game and then check. Still not working, then you can delete the save game files. But when you delete the save game files, you will lose all the game progress and you have to start everything from scratch. So you will lose all the game progress. So to delete the save game file, you can simply go to this location. Once you open the local folder, here you can see this folder, make a right click and then click on delete. Once you delete this complete folder, now you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings. And then over here click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, click on options, select high performance, now click on save. Again click on browse and then open this folder binaries win64. Select this exe file, click on add, and once added, click on options, select high performance, now click on save. Now launch the game and then check. Next step is to verify the game files. Now, this is important, so make a right click on the game and then select properties and then go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Now, once the verification is 100% complete, then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer. So if you have these devices connected, which you're not using, disconnect it. Also, if you have any additional controller connected, disconnect it. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party applications services running, you can close it. Close the third party application and the services in task manager. Disable overlay. Now for this, you can go to game, make a right click on the game, select properties, and then go to general tab. Now over here you can see the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game. If this is on, you can turn this off and then check. Next step is to close all the overlay applications. So if you have discord running, you can turn off overlay in discord. If you have GeForce experience running, you can turn off the overlay in GeForce experience or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking applications. So if you have overclocking application like MSI Afterburner, Reward Tuner, or any overclocking application, you can close it, launch the game. To perform clean boot, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. In my case, this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted, but make sure that you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart your computer and then check. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Update your Windows to the least, latest version. This is important. So open Windows Update, uh, go to Settings, go to Windows Update or Update and Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to Install Visual C++ file. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here you can see Visual Studio 2015. You will see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. You have to download x86 and x64. So download both the files, x86. And once the download is complete, I run this exe file. run this exe file. Now, if, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow. Again, download this x64 file. Now, once the download is complete, run this exe file. 
again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both the installation are complete and then once it is complete restart your computer and system restart is a must after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 one now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is applicable if you are able to launch the game if you are if, if you are not able to launch the game you can skip this step but if you are able to launch the game you can try window mode and lower down video settings so you can launch the game if you are able to launch the game. Now go to settings and then go to video. Now over here you will see window mode and full screen. So if this is set to full screen, you can switch to window mode. Now if the resolution is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down mode and then hit apply and then here upscaling method in my case this is set to tsr you can try tsr now if you're using nvidia dlss in that case you can set it to quality and even if you're using amd fsr3 in that case again set it to quality so in my case i will not use amd fsr nvidia dlss i will just set it to tsr now I scroll down if the vsync is on you can turn off vsync and then check i will set the fps to 60 in my case and if the quality preset is set to epic in that case you can set it to high you can even go for medium or you can even go for low i will set it to medium now if motion blur is set to high you can set it to medium and then apply the settings and then check the performance now the next step is to update the system bios so go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell if you have lenovo go to lenovo so go to your system manufacturer website 
select your model number and then make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest BIOS update available and update the system BIOS. Now during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. And once the BIOS update is complete, you can restart your computer, log into your computer and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then reinstall the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to, installed to different drive like D drive or E drive, try installing the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed in C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.